Hello YouTube, this is Chris, Carbal Space Program. What I have here is an interstellar mod vessel. And, um, you know, there's a quick view of it right there. We are going to see if we can launch this as a single stage to orbit. And it just about does it. Um, there's a few things that I could have changed, but uh, it's an interesting interesting design and uh, it works. It's, you know, theory, concept, ugh theory that it will work and you know the proof of concept is here it does get nearly into orbit um, I'm not sure what happened I, I, I honestly I recorded this probably I don't know maybe December possibly <laughs> so it's been quite a while this is all post commentary not really sure what I remember from this but anyway we can still watch and enjoy the launch of the design here and just checking out um, some vital stats here and then I'll go back to the uh, nav ball and check to see how fast I'm going and just to see if I'm gaining speed obviously the acceleration is not very high but you can see the um, Delta V available was like 13 uh, it was about 13,000 Delta V meters per second 13,000 meters per second which is quite a lot. That's plenty. You need about four to forty-five hundred. I think you can get as low as like thirty-five hundred delta V to get a craft into a low Kerbin orbit. So this has plenty, plenty, plenty of delta V to do it. Uh, it just, I guess, it all depends on how long it takes. Uh, it's not a very quickly accelerating. Um, rocket, but it does. Uh, I can't remember. I can't see what the thrust to weight ratio is, but it's it's high enough. Um, so we'll just go ahead and we'll follow this into uh, into space out, outside the edge of the atmosphere. And it's you know, like I said, it's a pretty simple design. I've got uh, a couple stabilizing uh, wing surfaces. I got the thermal rocket with the. Reactor, and then you know the, the command pod. There is a I can't remember what they call, it, but it's like a service module. It's where you can put the um, this actually got RCS in it, uh, so it doesn't stack on the outside of the craft. It makes it a little bit cleaner, and um, you know you've got the the heat the, the thermal panels there to convect the heat away from the craft because with that reactor, it really does pump some heat out so uh, we're just going to see where we are in this uh, orbit and it looks like we can get an orbit I'm not sure why I stopped and uh, ejected the pod it's possible that I could have hit the wrong button I am not sure but um, you know we're climbing steadily and uh, we look pretty good so I'll extend those thermal convecting panels out because we're we're out of the atmosphere, and then uh, you know, I, I could start taking this heat away from of the away from the craft. Which, if you don't, it'll shut down the reactor, and then you're powerless. You have to send out a Kerbal to restart the reactor, and um, just just not worth the aggravation. So throw those heat panels on there. Don't forget those. Yeah, I'm kind of blowing through this real quick. Uh, looks like. Uh, see, I got I got the um, maneuver node to, to go around the planet. I'm not sure why I um, I ended up just aborting this. Now it could have been that I was just trying to see if this is a, like a proof of concept to see if it actually worked instead of just in theory, but in actuality. And um, I'll end up going around. And I I hate to sound so obtuse, but I don't remember why I didn't uh, make the orbit. But anyway, you can just glory at the sunrise over the edge of the planet. And then, uh, you know, you get that nice thin blue line of atmosphere that everyone talks about when they look at Earth from space right on the edge of the, uh, uh, the limb. You can see that uh, blue line that is the atmosphere which is really cool um, you know things about Kerbal that are nice is it, it's really uh, visually it's very appealing uh, you know some of the moons uh, especially like Ike and um, 
some of the other ones, like The Moon. Uh, Minmus I don't really care for. I think that's kind of bland and boring. But the the Moon, M-U-N, around uh, Kerbin is very nice. Although somewhat plain, the crater impacts and stuff like that are, are really cool. Uh, I've been to Ike, which is nice. Um, and I've flown past a couple of the other ones, um, and they're, they're pretty cool. Like... Uh, I've, I've gone past Tylo, which is nice, and uh, Eve is kind of cool, but again, Eve is kind of like Minmus to me. It, it's kind of just monochromatic and, and not really that, it doesn't, it's not that interesting to me. I mean, I like a little diversity, um, you know, you've got the deserts and you got the grasslands and you got the water and Kerbin, which is really cool. Um, so uh, this craft is actually coming back in. I separate right now I separate from from this uh, stage and and now the panels have entered the atmosphere uh, so they come ripping off which is kind of a cool effect uh, it almost looked like they probably should have hit the pod uh, or the capsule I should say we used to eve pods um, we'll start seeing some shock heating here as we enter the atmosphere and it, it is kinda cool I turned off the uh, the the UI or the HUD and uh, just to you know marvel at the re-entry graphics um, why the parts that separate from the capsule don't explode when they're coming in, I, I don't know. I'm not sure if there's a tolerance there, or if the, the craft is separated from the command module, if that actually takes into account the heat with the deadly reentry mod in. Um, sometimes I do see that things explode off it, but oftentimes it's not. Uh, they just kind of glow and go away, and you know, you, you set you, you the difference, the difference distance between the capsule and that whatever you uh, ditch just grows and then you can't see anything anyway but that was um, that was just a quick mission I, I didn't want to make this video too long I haven't done one in a while and you know some people are starting to get concerned but uh, you know I, I was sick I've been really busy with real life things and um, you know it's just good to be back and, and doing some videos I'm kind of hoping for the next patch in Kerbal Space Program to see what they bring out next um, but anyway, like, subscribe, comment, check out my other videos. I have a bunch of other games going on, and um, let me know your thoughts. So thank you, and thanks for watching.